Welcome back everybody. I've got noisy sheep this morning. Very noisy. Well I've got to do this 10 old challenge so I'm going to leave my sounds on. I'll put my headphones on for this. Thanks to Martin for nominating me. Surely I can beat you this time. I've only got to find a button. I should be able to do that. So I'm going to nominate uh, another Martin. Martin at uh, Digging the Green Grass. And uh, John at John316 Metal Detecting. So I'll nominate you two. Right, let's crack on and see what we can get then. Uh, this is my first signal. Somewhere. Or there. 17, 19. Yeah, that don't sound very promising. So we'll dig that and we'll see what that is. Well, as you can see, I went to dig it. And it was on the top. I'm not even bending down for that. It's a big grid. I reckon that beats your button, that, Martin. Some sort of grid or something. <laughs> but I won't leave it there. I'll go and put it in the edge. Because I ain't carrying that home. So that's number... All right, here's my next one. 12, 13, 14. That's even got a shotty or a piece of lead there, I reckon. Well, there it is. I think it's a button. I should give me a coin, that. Let's have a look. Quite deep as well, this. Oh, focus. I reckon that's a coin. Yeah. I'm saying that's a coin. Yes, gotta be. Beat your Martin. Oh, maybe not. That looks like a shank mark. Oh, I don't know. It's round anyway. So we'll call it a draw so far. Right, on to the next one. Somewhere. There. That's only reading. One, two. I'll have a look what that is. Well, piece of coke. Awesome. What was that? Number three? Yeah. No? Yeah. Not onto number four. Right. Just proved not lying there was number three. And there's number four. Whatever that thing is in there. No idea. What that is, literally, no idea, could be a button that actually, oh, it is I think, uh, looks like it had a, a shank there, yeah, yeah, it's a button, there we go, and there's number five, tiny little bullet. All right, on to them. Here's the next one. I'm disgusting it is too. I've lost count. I think this is number six. I think it is anyway. There we go. We'll dig it and see. Well, oh, there's number six. Look at the size of that. There's another hedge fund. Big old pan or something. Saucepan maybe or something. I don't know. But there's not even any treasure inside it. So there we go. On to number seven. Hot it again. Let's see. Shotgun shell. Nice. Uh, the next one. It's a solid 17. This one. I still reckon on this field that one. It's going to be a shorty, this. Well, how wrong was I? It's not, it's a buckle. A bit battered and bent, but that's not bad. And I think that was number eight. Oh, on to number nine. This one's all over the shop. It's like minus three, minus two, minus one. Zero. Let's have a look at that one. There it is. Ugh, shotty. 
didn't want to dig that, did he? There we go, because it was only shallow probably, but on to number 10. Here's the next one. Six, seven, five. Let's have a look at that. There it is. Tiny thin piece of lead. Crap. Have a look at that for a cool find. I'm going to hazard a guess and say it's going to be Roman or somewhere. It could be even older than that to be honest. It's got all enamel in on it. And some sort of figure. Doesn't look like a man that actually does it. But do you reckon? No, a beard? I don't know. If you've got any ideas on that, let us know. I was reading 29 that was when it was out. And about a foot down. So well pleased with that. It's a cool little thing that. Pulled out the clod, and my next one's there. So we'll have a look together. Looks like a little coin. So reading 20, this. Oh, is that silver? Could be. Mm, I think it is, you know. A very tarnish warm one. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a silver. But of what? I don't know. And it looks like it's been bent into a love token as well. Or sort of. So it could be a William. Very blank. But it's definitely a silver. Happy days. Not the greatest, but I don't mind that. There's the next one. Spindle wall. Oh, will. Oh. I don't think there's going to be much of a pattern on that, but another really deep signal. I'm running the machine on 25 now and just going mega mega slow so I'm picking up all these really deep signals but you know, I just got that feeling there's a lot of good deep targets on this field the amount of good stuff that's come off of here so we'll just keep going nice and slow and see what we can get Another very deep signal, very scratchy tone, but only reading one way. That's definitely a coin and a thick one. Uh, doesn't look like there's much left on it though. But we might get something off it. I don't mind that. Still another coin. And the next one's a tiny little bottle. I don't think it's terribly, terribly old, but. I've got the pen and everything in it. No, it's not bad. Oh, next find, reading 17, we've got another blank old coin. You can just see the line there where the date is. Just about work out Britannia there, actually. That's going to be a little farthing. I just flipped it to the same side I have. Can't really work out anything on that side. Just about to see the bus there, so George the third I think. But it's alright. Another old coin. I think we've got a little piece of a Roman here, but it looks silver. I don't think it is like, but I'm gonna give a put you on pause. It's definitely a piece of a Roman. Put you on pause and give it a clean and we'll see what we got. Well, I gotta think it is actually a piece of a silver Roman as well. It's gotta be to have that much detail left on it. Oh, what a shame that's not a whole one. And there's the backside. 
all that is gutting that as well as being gutting it's also a first for me courtesy of the knocks again I don't believe that ha! chuffed to bits with that no idea who it is obviously but I couldn't care I'm over the moon with that one well just went back over the hole and there was another piece of it in there as well there we go so I'll give it all a proper clean when I get back and take some pictures of it we might be able to ID it then happy days find some sort of mount again you can see the two pins at the back there and again another very very deep target reading 14 that you can just about work out a design on it might clean up a bit better when I get it on but not a clue where that'll be off well it's a cool little thing yeah, this is reading high 20s this so I reckon this could be an old token have a look at the writing on the outside as well. It can be hard to ID that. There's not much left on it at all. But it's a thick, chunky coin, like. But I think it's... Oh, no, it's not. That's George II, is it? Possibly. Looking to the left. Could be. Right. There we go. Stand corrected then. Yeah. Possibly. Who knows? It's still an old coin nevertheless. I think it is George the second actually. Well there we go. I'll take that as another deep to, uh deep find as well that. Well have a look at that. That's gotta be part of a an axe head. Got to be. Very heavy, bronze, and that was literally there. What, three inches down? I'm sure it is. Judging by the patina and the colour of it. It's got to be. I just can't see how it'd fit onto anything with that. But, I don't know. Somebody will know. Well, that's what it looks like to me. Oh, chuffed to this. I'm having the cracking dig tonight. Really am. Let's hope this continues.